Yo, what's going on guys? This is Horcrux here. Welcome back to the channel. I have some real unfortunate news. On the PTS right now, and I'm not happy guys. Um, this is where I really regret making a PC account. Because all the effort I've put in to this account, all the time, all the grinding, has set me back so much it will be really tough to outperform anyone who's played this game kind of religiously um, I only have 760 some CP on this account well, 768 and if anyone tells you CP does not matter that's not true at all like this is gonna absolutely destroy lower CP players let me let me just give you an example okay quick example you don't you do not have to know how this CP tree works you see these four bubbles up at the top so there's passives right and in order to get these passives you have to put 50 points into said passive to get one little orby thingy for example if I put uh, 50 points into arcane supremacy I can now hit a or whatever and put that in my passives up here okay well that was 50 points for one passive Okay. If you're a sorcerer, we'll just say sorcerer for example. Obviously, you need this for maximum magicka. In order to even start allocating points in any other tree, you you have to put points in a starting point, like this one for example, this eldritch insight. Obviously, you're going to put 50 points into this for maximum sorcerer. Okay, so this is 100 points. Look at all of the other. So there's passes over here. Obviously, um, you probably want this passive because it gives you spell damage. I mean, if not, who knows? But we're going to sign it up here somewhere. Cool, now we got two of them. Nice. So right now we're at 100 just for these two passives. You obviously want this one. You're 150 already of your like 300 or whatever, 280, whatever. So now this is a passive. Cutting defense. This is a passive. This is a passive, all of which require 50. This is a passive, right? So, th that's just for the passive, guys. I know you can only choose four, so you choose, like, another two of these, you know, whatever. That would be 200 points if you're, like, 280, if you're, like, at 18 CP. But look at all of the other shit you can invest points in. And it all adds up, like... This is your healing tree. Obviously, you want foresight. You're not going to be able to get foresight. You'd have to put points into precision, I believe, to get... Uh, nope, let me look here. It's confusing as fuck. So, in order to get single target damage, i got to come put points into extended light. You have to put at least 10 in, right? Not too big of a deal. You know, just kind of re-over some of the passes. And then I have to go up here and toss in, like, another... 50 or whatever. Obviously, you want single target damage. This is all your other damage. But look at all of the shit that you're just not going to have access to. Status effects. Spell pin. We, we haven't even came here yet. Critical resist. Hardy, for example. Like, Jesus Christ. You have to have so many points. Let's say we put 10 points into here, right? crit resist like you have to have so many points for this to do anything and yeah I understand that each stage isn't that much but compare someone who's 810 CP to someone who's like 2k CP they're going to be at such an advantage like two equally skilled players one at 810 CP and the one at 2k the 2k is never going to lose with that's just the way it is, guys, and this sucks. This honestly sucks, and this is true for every other tree. And this one's even more confusing. I don't even know where to begin. Like, this shit's just all over the place. They tried to do this really cool installation bullshit. It's so confusing at first, especially as the new players. For example, if I put, like, how, I can't put points in here. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I, I, okay, I can't. I guess start putting points in the air. This shit's just annoying. Like, yeah, it looks cool, but the navigation on this is just bullshit. They should just have, like, 
pine tree diagrams it would make this so much more simple first of all and that and this is just the damage one I went over guys like I, I imagine all the other trees what a big difference that 1200 CP is gonna make between the the 810 player and then the the 2k player uh, this is just a rant to be honest um, if you're lower CP I feel for you like I'm lower CP as well so I'm probably gonna have to stick to no CP and the last thing I want to do is go into no CP and deal with all the proc sets um, come Blackwood or Black Reach, whatever this expansion is called. This sucks. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe I'm being a crybaby about it. Maybe I'm just not seeing the bigger picture. But when I look at all these passes and how to allocate them, pretty much what I'm seeing is like every 50 points, your character just gets like 5% better in terms of damage. You know, maybe that's a gross overstatement, but I feel like that's the case. Oh, you know, maybe I don't know. But maybe things change. Maybe the the math isn't working out. Uh, the wish I don't know, but the way I feel is like every fifty points just puts you uh, maybe like a five percent disadvantage. You know, five to two point five percent. So. If you could put like a scale on like how much better your character is per CP, I would say per 50 CP, your character is like 2.5% better than someone who is, you know, below that CP. Anyway, this is my rant. Um, I'm not too excited with the champion system. I think this one drive a lot of players away. Um, maybe not. But from a PvP standpoint, I know it's going to be really frustrating knowing that people of equal skill than I is just going to dig on me just for the pure fact that they have no life this game and don't have separate accounts. And uh, people who do have separate accounts are just severely punished for doing so, which is uh, not cool as off, it's not cool. But I'm going to leave it there. You guys heard enough ranting. Catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.